What is happening guys and welcome back to Red Beard's Garage. On today's episode we're going to be talking about the Comet 40 series and also the Comet clone. Uh, most of the 40 series you guys are probably running are the clones. You can pay a little extra and get the actual Comet from Go Power Sports and what it's going to add is a little bit probably a little bit better build quality and it has bronze bushings on the uh, shaft where the belt rides. So it's going to help you with with creeping of the go-kart at idle which i've never had that problem with the 40 series honestly uh, but if you want to pay a little extra you can get the comet one from go power sports uh your call but that's a comment one how you can tell which one's which is the comment has beads of weld on it to keep this nut from ever moving so if you wanted to adjust the springs and weights in a comment series you'd have to cut those wells and we've actually done this on this pulley before that's why they're rusty uh factory they're galvanized over the weld but this is the the uh, clone which is almost exactly the same the only other thing different is it doesn't have a bead of weld it has this little bending tab that holds the nut on so we're going to pull this apart this at winrock when we did our meetup this pulley kept sticking out on me and i think what was happening is this inside bale you'll see once we pull it apart has grooves where the rollers ride and i think it was expanding it like the torque of the engine we're over doing what this is rated for and it's shifting that and getting on top of the rollers instead of letting the rollers ride in it hope that makes sense so i made this plate real quick this morning it's just quarter inch piece of steel took an old bent axle and cut a piece off of it so now i can slide this pulley down on there and hold it from moving so the first thing we need to do is bend this tab down yeah once you open this up Go Power Sports is not going to warranty it anymore because, of course, you've obviously messed with it. So this will avoid the warranty. And while we're in here, we're also probably going to swap out to the red springs and the medium weights. Uh, so on screen, you'll see a chart with heavy, medium, and light rollers and then yellow and red springs. So yellow is what comes in these factory and the heavy spring or heavy rollers is what comes in them. So your engagement, if you can see on the chart, is going to be 1600 RPMs. If you jumped up to the red springs, kept the stock heavy weights, you're going to be at 2000 RPMs engagement. Then if you went to the, kept the yellow springs and went to the medium weights, you'd be at 2200. Now if you did both medium weights and red springs, you'd be at 2600, which is really the sweet spot. That's what I like to do is medium weights, red springs. Or you can uh, get the light weights, which is with the yellow springs to do 2400 and with the red springs 3100 so if you have a higher rev and engine you really want to match your engagement if you're like racing and stuff you want to engage it where your torque comes in the hardest at most of these engines are going to be around 2600 so that's why i always say do the medium weights and the red springs all the links to all these weights and springs will be in the video description as well as these drive pulleys and the full 40 series kit Hit her with a little PB blaster. The good stuff. I'm gonna see if this Milwaukee will break it loose. I doubt it. Oh! -ho! <laughs> Shouldn't have doubted it. I bought this socket uh, specifically for that nut. It's an inch and three quarters. So once, now this is spring loaded. It's gonna wanna shoot at your face. What we're gonna do is put the nut just on a few threads, just in case. Just spinning that washer. Oh yeah, there we go. Just get that twisted, push down on it, take the nut off. Pull that washer. You can see how it has a flat spot that will go on like that. Okay. Look at that. So basically these rollers are supposed to be sitting in these grooves and we're completely out of them. So I'm going to pop this whole roller assembly off, just like that. And that spring isn't pushing against that. The spring is completely caught in there. See that? Mm -hmm. This bronze guide is holding it. So watch your face. Gary. Oh boy. She's going to launch. Okay. So that was a problem that was our problem this was getting all caught up and then also where we extended it so we was riding a lot that day and it was getting extremely hot you can see 
where it has eaten up this guide. So we're going to have to file that down. It's mainly this one right here. File these rough edges that are overhanging. We're going to clean all this off and put some dry graphite lube on it. Make sure when you're lubing inside of this, make sure to not get any on the surface where the belt's going to be riding because that's going to give you belt slip. And we can also make sure we have no burrs on this uh, little bronze washer. Set that aside. Everything else looks pretty good. Now you can see the difference in the weights here. This is a medium weight. This is the standard weight. You can see the, the difference of the two. This is a lot heavier, so it's gonna sling it out faster and engage your clutch at a lower RPM. The reason you wanna switch, for people that don't know, why you would wanna switch your engagement of your clutch because you're going to get that launch. It means the pulley's not going to start pushing on the belt to actually take the go-kart off till 2600 RPMs if we do the red springs and the medium weights, the medium rollers. So if you, I don't like the 1600 RPM engagement that they come with because that's just too close to the idle RPM. So as soon as you come off idle, it's taken off. I like to have a little bit of rev up, especially when you're starting and you have to feather the throttle. It's nicer to have this set up because it's got to rev up a little bit more before it starts engaging and take off and I just think it's better on the clutch. About every time with a built engine, a mildly built engine or a higher horsepower engine, I've used the stock weight and springs. I always get where we're just overworking the pulley because those weights are flinging out so early, it's not letting you get in the higher RPMs. It's easy, it's a lot more stress on everything. So the only thing we're gonna be keeping off this old spring and weight setup is in between the weights if you unhook these springs. And these are the yellow springs. They just uh, go power sports uh, pulleys don't, aren't painted. So we're just keeping these clips that are inside the rollers. All right, so we got everything cleaned up. I took a wire brush and cleaned this uh, shaft and it was basically so like rough, these wouldn't slide on and off. So you basically have one of, one of these bronze bushings down there, then the spring. And then another bronze bushing goes inside this from the outside in and sets against this little lip back here. So it just gives it a bronze bushing to ride against the spring. You know, when you put this together, whoop, like this, you know, it'll be sitting in there like that. You can see the spring there. So what we need to do first before putting this together is we need to spray it with some dry graphite lube. So I'm going to spray this shaft and don't get any on the bell here and also spray inside here. Again, if you get any on the bell, just make sure to clean it off. That's gonna give you belt slip. A dab will do you. Get this all the way around on it. We'll just rip this paper towel off little bushing inside there and slide it all the way against that lip. There we go. Out with the old and with the new. All right, so if we have our bronze bushing down there, slide our spring on next. Then we can go ahead and set our top pulley on up. We're going to slide these pins in and basically hook that side, hook that side, it's basically linking them all together. So, and I've also cleaned these uh, quite a bit and I'm going to hit those with a little bit of dry graphite lube as well so now they can roll as they need to now you just got to lay these grooves on top of the rollers and Shut down.
Now we have a 2600 RPM stall pulley that's fully redone. You can basically just take your pulleys apart, clean everything really well, inspect it, and then spray everything with dry graphite lube. That's a good annual thing to do, like maybe in the winter time when you're getting ready to for the summertime. Shenanigans. 2600. Good hand run. So now we can go on to the Skittles and pull the pulley off of it, get it serviced to put it back on. We're only going to do red springs and leave the heavy weight in it. So it should engage at 2000 RPMs. So it should be a little bit better. So now we got this pulley off, we can go do the same thing, bend this tab out, pull it apart and see what's happening inside this pulley that keeps it from, uh, from being able to close when you come down to idle. Basically this stays locked out so the go-kart stalls out. The rollers are still sitting where they're supposed to be, but that did not want to come up. It was really seized. What I found is if you can see some water was in there from where it rained the other day. But basically, I always polish up these with a wire brush on my, my little bit driver. And then we're going to put dry graphite lube on this shaft as well as inside of this because it looks to have hardly any from factory. So that's gonna help lube everything. We're gonna make sure with that wire brush, when we polish this shaft, that these, everything can slide on it really good because everything was seized up in there. So we're gonna pull this all apart and clean everything. doesn't work well with the hat. Do not stretch it. I wear it every day. All right.
gosh. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a spider web from death. You gonna try to take it up the hill? Yeah. Shoot ya. And I'll try to follow you on this so that I'm still getting you. fun oh i think actually rides pretty decent for no suspension those big old tires we got them deflated a little bit and it is nice that pulley what a world of a difference that did remember that was just the red springs with the stock weights super cheap upgrade and way better now way better the thing is fun all right guys so you can see that that was uh springs made a huge difference and a uh, little cheap part can make a um, world of a difference on your go-kart so make sure to check out the links in the video description it helps the channel out a ton and uh, keeps us pushing out those sweet sweet crispy videos so uh, use those links tell them your boy sent you and uh, let us know what you thought about today's video we love you and god bless